I say? Oh, a bit ugly, though, sir. Ugly? You know, I mean, not attractive to men, sir. Well, I, I suppose that's rather a matter of taste, sir. Oh, no, no, she's ugly, sir. Hi, welcome to my freezing shed. Um, we are ready to start cutting some metal. I think I got all the dimensions worked out from the wooden prototype. So I was going to use my son's bandsaw because it's much nicer than mine. But in talking to him, he says, well, if you're just making straight cuts on aluminum, why not use a table saw or a chop saw with a carbide blade? You know, carbide drill bits, drill aluminum just fine. So I guess he knows what he's talking about. But I'm still gonna use his stuff because it's much nicer. It's all set up in his shop on his farm where I'd have to drag my stuff out of the shed on the lawn. And have you seen the weather? Let's go cut some aluminum or aluminum in metric. I don't want anybody to feel left out. I have the boxes completed as you can see I did better on some spots than others maybe someday when I grow up I'll have a real mill and metal lathe but at the moment this is as good as I can do with a drill press and the limited tools I have I've got the boxes done I've got the plate that's gonna hold the dovetail plate completed so now next we start Throwing on the harmonic drives and the pulleys and see if we can attach the stepper motors and tighten up the belts. So here are the RA and deck portions of the mount. I finally got the dimensions correct. The stepper motors sit right against the edge here. The belts are tight. I think everything's going to work out there. It all fits in pretty good. So 
same with this one. I fasten through the bottom like that. It's simple, but it works. And here will be the bottom plate of the RA axis. That's where this guy lives. It'll go just like that. So this part hangs out a little bit. Put holes in the 3D printed plate this way. So I've got to drill and tap four holes for the mount. If you've ever built a computer before, you'll know what these are. I'm just gonna use this standoff for the motherboards. I'll just drill and tap four holes and mount the controller board, the bottom plate with those. So we'll do that. All right, here we go. Controller board mounted with the standoffs to keep it above the bottom. So we're just about ready to put everything back together and wire it up, except for one thing. I haven't really talked about this yet because I didn't really know what I was going to do. The Alt-As controls on the mount. I was trying to find maybe an old non-go-to mount that I could cannibalize, but I couldn't find one, especially for the price I wanted to get it for. But I found this. This is a fluid head mount for like a video camera. So it's a Manfrotto, really good brand. It is butter smooth moving this way and this way. I don't know if you can see that really good from there, but. So my plan is I'm gonna take off this top plate. The bottom plate of the RA deck will go on right there. I've just got to figure out some good azimuth controls for the front and a altitude control. It does have a nice lock on it right here. If you get it locked in, you just do lift that up and it's locked solid as a rock. So that's gonna take me a little bit. I'll probably get some, maybe some threaded rod to use for my controls with some knobs on the end. We'll see how that goes as we continue on. Well, here we have a mostly put together mount. I don't have this attached yet. I uh, gotta probably countersink these screws a little bit better so that fits flat. But everything seems to fit just fine. I got the dimensions correct this time. So I've just got to work on the Alt-As mount a little bit more. I've taken the top plate off of that. <clears throat> I've ordered some parts, so we're waiting for those to come in. It is not going to win any beauty contests, but as long as it works, we're good. I don't care. Okay, well, I guess that's all for today. Um, this project is taking a little longer than I anticipated. It's quite a time-consuming endeavor, but I'm glad you guys are sticking around. Hopefully my parts will come in for my mount and we'll get ready to finalize it, get it working under its own power. That should happen in the next one. If you haven't and you feel like it, subscribe. And I will talk to you later. And as always, clouds suck. <laughs>